about a month ago I had a friend over to play some video games and he gave me this nice little box here. Nice little metal box I can put on the wall. And uh, my buddy, he's a locksmith, and this is actually a case with a unit that's supposed to be for wireless keypad entries or something like that, but, you know, he wasn't using it anymore, and he thought I could use it, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take it, I don't know exactly what I'll do with it. Uh, but as you can see by my little box over here, I've got a, a bunch of mini computers, a lot of this, some of them have even opened orange pie, a couple of raspberry pies, an onion, and this little router here that I just started playing the other day, playing with the other day, I put um, OpenWRT on it. And, uh, so I'm hanging this box on here, I ran, uh, you know, an ether well, there that goes, I ran an ethernet cord over that I've got to tape down or something, uh, I just ordered a small switch so I can hook up multiple devices in here, so I'm probably going to put a few of these mini computers in here, although it was originally designed, uh, with another computer in mind, as you can see, there's a power supply here that you can splice wires and put in, and it takes it from, uh, you know, uh, the, um, AC and over to DC, and there's a wire here for a battery backup that you could put in here if need be. It even has a Zigbee in here, which I've I've never actually bought a Zigbee before, and so now I have an opportunity to play with that. Uh, you know, again, that's for the wireless keypad. It has a little, you know, top there for the antenna, which I have right here along with keys to the box and a little multi-screwdriver thing. This is the computer that was originally in there. And I don't know if I, I might try to cram that in there. I mean, it's a perfectly good computer. I don't have a case for it, so it'd probably be a good idea to keep it in that box. I could still fit two or three mini computers in there with it. And he also gave me this to go in there. I still haven't even figured out how this mounts in there. It has a nice, nice metallic button on here for that you can hook to the power uh, on the um, board there. I mean, that's like a 2 or $3 metal switch there. Anyway, uh, and he gave me this solid-state drive. Which I'm pretty sure he said to me when he gave it to me, he goes, oh, it's it's only uh, 6 gigs, That's it. but it actually says 6 gig gigabits per second. I had to look it up online, this is actually a 64 gig uh, solid state drive, so that'd be great to hook and just use it as a server. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with everything in this box. As I said, you know, a month or two ago, I bought this little $15 router, uh, and I finally took it out of the box and put OpenWRT on it, Open, Open DWRT on it, and... Um, I'm going to hook that up, you know, low power. It has a USB port, so you can use it for, as a server with storage. It's nice because it's got two Ethernet ports and the Wi-Fi and powers off USB and has a USB port there that's, you know, for 3G uh, or 4G um, USB dongle, but can also be used for storage or other USB devices. And what I've started working on with this so far is um, I installed Aircrack NG on it, you know, that and and or Kismet I could play with. Uh, and I plan on having that just constantly monitoring all wireless devices uh, that uh, come within range. Um, just logging their MAC addresses and um, when they were last seen. You know, I kind of live out in the middle of nowhere, so I don't have a whole lot of people coming, but it'd be great to be able to log that and, like, be sent a text message when a new one pops up, you know. So if I'm not at home, you know, besides the security system, if a new Wi-Fi... Uh, device comes into range, I can get a text and I can check my cameras and whatnot. Uh, I can also know, you know, when my friends are coming, I could be out working in the backyard. And yeah, I got a doorbell that sends me texts, but it'd be awesome if just when they drove in the driveway, I could say, say hey, when John gets here, send me a text and, you know, have it based on his Mac address that I'll record at some point. Anyway, that's my, my plan for this. But I, again, I have these other devices. It's like, it's like this is this this little this was a five dollar this little onion computer. I thought, oh, what a great idea! And I'm not sure I ever even took it out of the box. And this orange pie was a fifteen dollar one. Orange pie zero it was fifteen dollars. Um, yeah, I want to play with that. And a couple old Raspberry Pis that I used to use for stuff, but I don't anymore because I upgraded to newer versions of Raspberry Pi. Oh, and the um, uh, the chip, the, well, this is just the HDMI plug for the chip, but I have two chip computers, which are actually in another drawer over there, and Arduinos, and, and whatnot, so I plan on filling this box uh, with those, but anyway, I just thought I'd share, because I thought this was pretty neat that I, my buddy gave me this, and I'm very thankful for it, you know, uh, I'm either going to drill some new mountain hole, mount holes for those little things, or, or certain things like this little router, I, I love how small and teeny tiny this little router is, I mean, look at this, look at this. 
that could be used, you know, as an access point or as wireless. I can make it into a server again because there's a USB port on there. It's so tiny, and I could just I could just tape that in here somewhere, you know. There's supposed to be room for a battery backup here, but I'm probably not going to battery backup all this stuff. If I did, I'd probably do it, you know, at the wall or something, not put the battery in here. Although I do have this nice power supply, but I mean, I could put this anywhere, and and just just neat. Anyway, I thought I'd share my little project today that I really not sure exactly what I'm going to do again. I, you know, I've read about Zigbee's, but I've never actually bought one. Now I have one, I might actually someday get around to using it. It'll probably be a year or two <laughs> at the rate that I go with, with, as you can see, all this stuff's not open. I actually have a whole drawer over there full of electronic parts that I bought that I haven't gotten to. I mean, there's, everything's so cheap nowadays. It's like, hey, that seems cool. I'll buy it. It's only $2. And then it comes in. I don't have time to work on that now. Anyway, so yeah, uh, again, it originally came this computer here and that hard drive which he told me does have windows on it there is a windows license key here i'm gonna have to throw that out and format that drive windows 7 pro yay whatever um anyway thanks for watching hope that you have a great day